this is Stumpy, and welcome to a Terraria Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stumpy's Wonderful World! And my bedroom is full of birds. Oh, look at that! Look at that! 58 birds in one! <laughs> Not too shabby! Not too shabby whatsoever! And what's going on with the, the music? Oh, we got pirates! We have pirates attacking! Um, okay, right, we are going to carry on um, <laughs> working on building, but um, right, looks like we have some, some pirates to deal with. Right, last time there were pirates, I found it really difficult, but since then I have got uh, quite a, a lot stronger, so hopefully I'm going to, to be able uh, to deal with them a, a lot better. Let's go and get some of these clouds down first, and it would be cool if I could catch one of those parrots in the... Uh, <laughs> One of the, the critter cages. I don't think that's going to, to work, though. Right, they do still seem to be uh, pretty tough. But if I use... Um, if I put these Nimbus clouds around here, like this, and then uh, if I go to here, uh, hopefully most of them are going to go and uh, and fall in that pit. And, uh, oh, no, I'm getting really, really hurt here. Right, let's try and... Um, let's try and get somewhere safe for a second and uh, try and... Okay, that, I didn't really get very safe then, did I? <laughs> right then, let's go Let's go back down then and let's see if I can deal with them. There's got to be a smarter way of doing this. I actually remember last time I battled them, uh, I went on top of my little greenhouse, didn't I? And I was throwing the, uh, I was throwing those knives around. Uh, so let's go and uh, let's put these down here, and then let's put one down on the the other side as well. And I remember this is where I hanged out last time, and I was just really struggling uh, going up against the uh, the captain. Uh, the captain was really tough, and I don't actually think I was ever able to to take him out. Uh, so I don't know what you get if you do. So let's go and get uh, all of my weapons that I have on me at hand. I got my uh, my cursed flames here. I've got those at hand as well. So uh, there we go. These are pretty much all of the weapons. And where's the uh, I don't have the, the magic dagger on me. That's what I was using last time. But I can uh, go and uh, throw these down all over the place. And then these are going to be bouncing everywhere. Uh, so that should hopefully uh, do some pretty good damage against them. And uh, let's just see if I can hold off up here and uh, just try to, to not die again. I am pretty weak at the moment. I'm going to put down a, a couple more clouds on uh, on this side. And as soon as my, my magic's up, I can go and do a few more of these. But the uh, the parrots are the uh, the difficult ones. They're the other uh, ones uh, that can uh, fly up to me and uh, try and keep trying to, to track me down. But I was able to deal with them uh, pretty nicely that time. And then these clouds here uh, should be doing a good job of getting everyone else. If I kind of fly around here, you can see everyone tries to go under me. And you can just hear them uh, all getting hurt down there. I could even stand here and just kind of put these clouds uh, over the, the edge. Then if I go like this and start firing down just a little little bit. There we go. That should be doing uh, some pretty good damage. I just want to hurt them enough uh, so I can get rid of them. And then I can go and carry on building Animal Island, which is uh, <laughs> what I originally planned today. And it all worked out what I was going to do. And then the pirates came along and kind of ruined everything. So if I fire all of these up, they should just go and drop down and uh, do some pretty good damage uh, against these pirates. They are, though, uh, firing up at me. And it is doing a, a decent amount of damage. So I do want to uh, do want to be careful of that. I could also use these. And there we go. They are actually hurt quite a lot. I keep meaning to, to make more of these, but I haven't had a, a chance to yet. And I can also uh, go and put down some more of these clouds. If I have three of them uh, all here like this, and then if I just kind of fly over here and then fly back, uh, that should hopefully uh, be hurting them uh, a whole bunch. But once my uh, health's gone up a little bit more, and uh, my magic's fully up. I'm going to go and uh, drop down. And I'm going to go and use the uh, the curse flames for a bit more as well. And there we go. Me standing right on the edge uh, is uh, allowing me to, to do quite a lot of damage against them. I've not seen the uh, the captain yet. Was oh, this the captain here? There we go. There's the pirate captain. He has once again shown up. I'm getting a, uh, a strong feeling of deja vu from this. This is um, <laughs> very similar uh, to what happened last time I was in the, uh, the same situation. So uh, hopefully now I'm going to be a, a little bit stronger and able to to take him out. I wasn't prepared though. As you saw, I was far from prepared. I was playing around with my birds <laughs> and then they all uh, showed up out of nowhere. So I didn't have any time uh, to, to sort myself out. Actually, I can at least uh, go and put this uh, this helmet on. This is going to give me a little bit of uh, extra damage I can do against them. And uh, let's go and uh, drop down and uh, do a bit of magic and then drop back up. Oh, I can't see the, the captain. Was he inside? I think he might have been shooting at me then. There we go. There's the, uh, the captain uh, right about there. Let's go and fire all of these up and uh, then fly back up. And then that's hopefully going to be doing some good damage. And 
I can go and drop down uh, another cloud there as well. I certainly seem to be able to, to do a whole lot more damage uh, than I did uh, last time, so that's pretty handy, but uh, yeah, they're still doing uh, pretty good damage against me as well. The problem is, is I'm pretty much always by myself these days, so a lot of these challenges I think would be a, a whole much easier uh, if there was a, a group of us, uh, but yeah, being by myself uh, is quite difficult. And oh, I think it's only two clouds you can have a, uh, have a time. I think I always thought it was three, but it seems to, to only be two. Well, let's drop down and try and do a bit more damage. You can see I've hurt the, uh, the captain quite a bit. I could have uh, hurt him a little bit more, but he seems to be mainly going inside. I think he moves quite a lot slower uh, than some of the, the others. And so whereas uh, as I keep hurting all of the, the others, I seem to not be doing as much damage against him. But there we go. I don't know if I'm hurting him, but I'm hurting something. Like you see all the, the numbers uh, coming off on the, the bottom of the screen? Uh, that is me hurting the, the other pirate. So uh, standing here is actually a really good idea. Let's uh, drop down for a bit. And uh, there we go. Yeah, you can see the, the captain uh, isn't coming out. There we go. He came out a little bit there. But I'm doing mainly damage against the other pirate, uh, but not the, the captain. But the, uh, the captain the main one I want to take out uh, just because I reckon uh, that he's going to drop something better. I don't know. I actually have no idea. I've not done any research uh, in terms of what uh, he drops but hopefully it'll be something good and all those weren't uh, far out enough. I am doing a lot of damage though. Uh, you can see them getting hurt. I might go and use this for a little bit and uh, see if I can do a bit of damage. See does my health's quite high and oh look at the captain. Look at the pirate. There we go. He's really hurt right about now. If I can lure him quite far out uh, hopefully he'll keep uh, getting hurt by uh, all of the, the Nimbus clouds. So hopefully I can lure him out a bit now. If I stand about here, coming out a little bit further, a little bit further. There we go. I think he went outside. Oh, no, no. I got took out, though. I wasn't keeping an eye on my health. Right. Let's run back there as quick as I can. And uh, hopefully everyone's still uh, down there where they where they were. And uh, hopefully uh, any money I had still down there as well. Because remember, uh, you drop some, some money when you die. So hopefully I can grab that as well. Right. Everything seems to be uh, back in order. But I can't see the, uh, I can't see the captain. Is he here? I don't know if the, the captain's wandered off somewhere. And I did see a, a gold coin. Uh, sitting down there, but I'm a little bit uh, too scared to go down there because I'm weak and I also can't use uh, another healing potion uh, for, for quite a while. So I think I might uh, wait up here for uh, a little bit and uh, try and hurt them a little bit more. It's really the uh, the captain uh, is the uh, the main one uh, that I want to go after. I seem to be able to take out the others quite easy uh, just by kind of using this uh, kind of cheap but effective technique, but I'm sort of <laughs> uh, too weak to, to do anything else right now. And I can go and just sort of bounce these all over the place, really, I guess, and try and uh, do some damage that way. Right, my health's gone up quite a bit, so let's go and have a look down. Can you see the captain anywhere down there? I didn't actually see him at all. Whoop, that was dangerous, that was dangerous. Let's get the, uh, the old health back up, and there's a a, pir uh, a parrot trying to sneak up uh, to, to me here as well. I can go and deal uh, with him quickly. And uh, let's go and put this uh, cloud back down here. The clouds, can they go through the, the greenhouse? I don't think they can. Oh, no. If they could go through the, the greenhouse, uh, then that would be absolutely uh, perfect. Because then I'll be able to, to deal with them really easily. But for now, I guess this will have to do. Let's get it a little bit closer to the edge. There we go. And now I'm doing a little bit more damage. And uh, let's jump down. And uh, see if we can be the uh, the captain. I want to be careful though, because uh, I do uh, keep getting quite hurt. So let's wait for the uh, the numbers to stop coming up, because uh, that means whatever was directly underneath me uh, should have been taken out. So there we go. I can drop down for a second, and oh, oh, there's a big sword. There's a big sword. There's a, a nasty cutlass, and oh, I think there might be another captain down there actually. Uh, what does this do? 71 damage, and uh, this one is 79. So it's not uh, quite as good as my other sword. It does have a bunch of bonuses though. Uh, speed and critical damage. It's very fast as well. I might give it a go. Uh, seen as uh, I'm battling pirates, I think uh, a cutlass uh, does make sense uh, as, a, as a weapon to, to use. And there we go. There's the uh, the captain here. Let's try if we can and try and lure him out a little bit. I can leave this uh, all going down here. And there we go. I think I got the uh, the captain outside at least a little bit. Oh no, no, I got stuck. I ran out of my I ran out of my flight though, but he should have been uh, getting hurt uh, by the uh, the clouds there. I am also getting hurt as well. Oh, there's a cannonball. <laughs> They're pretty deadly, those cannonballs. <laughs> right, let's go and uh, step out a little bit more to the other uh, side here. The problem is and so he always wanders off. The others will stay down there, but the captain gets bored and then just goes and wanders off. Let's go and uh, fire down a little bit more of this uh, magic if we can then. If I kind of just fire it up in the, uh, the air. And oh, did I get him then? 
I saw something got hurt, and oh, oh no, there's a thing coming, and uh, I don't actually, uh, I don't really have much health at all, and I can't use a health potion. It's only a parrot, but I do want to be very careful. There we go. Let's try and knock it, and uh, not allow it to, to get close. That worked uh, quite well there, and uh, let's go and uh, put down some fresh clouds, because those ones uh, would be uh, about to, to disappear soon, and then if I stand right by the, the edge, it should hurt them. I need to get the cloud right about here. If I put them both right there, there we go. I think that's the, uh, the best way uh, to do quite a lot of damage. And oh, here comes a parrot. <laughs> Let's take him out quickly. And uh, I can nearly uh, use uh, another health potion. So I'm going to try and stay as uh, safe as I can until then. And then I'm going to go and uh, charge back down uh, once I've had the uh, the health potion. Right. Let's go and grab the, uh, the cutlass again. And let's charge down. Oh, there's the, uh, the captain. I tell you what. I think I'm getting quite a lot of uh, money by doing this. Oh, look how weak the captain is. There we go. I took out the other uh, captain and I got another cutlass. I also got a golden table as well. I think maybe uh, the uh, the cutlass then uh, is the uh, the main thing uh, that the uh, the captains dropped then because I've uh, got quite a lot of them and there we go the uh, the pirates have been defeated so there's normally uh, a few stragglers around the place uh, but I think it means that there'll be no more pirates coming there we go that was a lot better than the uh, the last time I went after the uh, the pirates and oh I got a sailor hat as well <laughs> that's cool let's go and uh, let's go wear the uh, the sailor hat then shall we oh it doesn't look as cool as I hope but actually if I keep uh, this on I can put this sailor hat on this side. <laughs> I look ridiculous. I just look really, really silly. So I did die a few times, but I think overall uh, I did do uh, did do pretty well. And let's see, um, let's see how I got for for money. I got eighteen gold coins. Not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, not eight, not nine, not ten, not eleven, not twelve, not thirteen, not fourteen, not fifteen, not sixteen, seventeen, not seventeen, day eighteen. Gold coins is how many I got, which is <laughs> which is a lot. That is a, a lot of gold coins for uh, not a very large amount of time. And I took out a few of the the captains. Uh, how good's this one? Oh, 77, and that one's 71. This cutlass is actually pretty good. So I tell you what, uh, for the uh, the rest of the episode, I use this uh, cutlass. So uh, plus 16% damage. It's I don't know. I think it's slightly worse than the uh, the old beam sword still, uh, but it's still not bad. So uh, first thing I'm going to do. And I'm going to put all my money away because I do not want to end up losing this. No sir. So let's go and uh, place all of that away. And I can put uh, some of the, uh, the silver coins uh, in my uh, nice little piggy bank uh, as well. And uh, yeah, now I can go and carry on uh, doing what I was planning to do. Oh, actually... While I'm here, I think there's something that I can make. You know I captured a bunch of worms in the last episode. There's something that I can make called an enchanted night crawler. I think I can make it anyway, and I think you need to mix a, um, a worm and uh, a fallen star, and uh, you can make uh, a new fancy type of worm, I believe. Uh, let's, let's see if I can, let's see if I can find this thing then, let's see if I can find it, and uh, I've no idea where it would be though, uh, would it, uh, I don't know if it would be here, like maybe in this section, uh, there's just the, uh, the normal worm cage. But I'm sure I can make uh, an enchanted uh, night crawler. I don't know where it needs to be at night time. I'm not sure what I need to make it. Like, I can buy a workbench, but... I don't know if I'd need a workbench to make a new type of worm. <laughs> but all of these things seem to be more, you know, like bookcases and doors and things. There doesn't seem to be, you know, like, that's, that's an animal. So maybe it wouldn't be in this section. This is all armor and things. Oh, no, there is some weird things down here. Uh, I can't see it anywhere. Maybe uh, with potions and things. I might as well uh, have a little look down. I'm sure I can make it. My only worry is if it's uh, not actually in uh, the, the Xbox version of the, the game. I couldn't really uh, find it out, uh, but um, let's just have a little look down here and uh, see if we can we can find it. No, I don't seem to be able to find it. Uh, hopefully it's something that I can work out uh, how I can make, and then I can make it in the, uh, the future. But yeah, for now, uh, I'm not going to, to worry about it too much. Let's go and uh, just put away the, uh, the Fallen Star uh, back in here, and uh, let's go and head up uh, to, to Animal Island. So I uh, slightly delayed, uh, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter too much. We can go and uh, carry on now so uh, in fact it might have been good it might have actually given uh, a little bit of time uh, for my trees to grow because that's kind of what I've been waiting for at the moment oh look at all of this even more money let's go and whoop grab that money got a little bit hurt there but that doesn't matter <laughs> uh, yeah so hopefully it's given me uh, just uh, a little bit more time uh, to allow everything to grow and look at this all of that. I think these are just pirates that just gave up and just dropped their money before they ran away. <laughs> right, so let's go and head back up here and uh, carry on. So um, I have been looking into the weird phenomenon, phenomenon nom, 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 <laughs> that happened in the uh, the last episode where I could just spawn in kind of endless birds. 
and I was looking and I couldn't actually find out uh, anyone else talking about it really. I looked on the uh, the page that said about that type of bird and things and it didn't actually mention uh, anything out, uh, anything about uh, what was happening. So I don't know if it was a weird glitch, maybe it's uh, only happening for me. Uh, but yeah, it was the, basically the thing that allowed me to have endless birds. Let me just kind of demonstrate. If I do this, uh, you can see that, oh, nothing's happening. Right, let's, uh, <laughs> let's try and deal with um, uh, this uh, flying wyvern first, shall we? And uh, then we can uh, uh, try and worry about that a little bit later. And there we go. Not too difficult to take out with. And let's see if I can make it happen again then. So I clicked on the, the tree and it basically made birds come out. But it seems that now it's not working. You see all these uh, birds I got? I got them by clicking wood on a tree. But for some reason, it's now not working. Maybe, maybe it was a glitch then. Was there something specific else I was doing? Um... I'm not sure. I seem to just be doing this, and then it made the birds appear. Maybe it was just a glitch then. Maybe it's just not working now. I think I just got lucky and made a really cool things happen. But oh well, I got um, I got 57 of these cardinals now, which isn't too bad. <laughs> so let's go and put some of them uh, away in the um, in the uh, the kind of bird cage thing. So I'm gonna make it as if this is a branch coming off the tree. It doesn't look exactly like a branch, but this looks okay actually. That kind of looks uh, a little bit like a, a branch, and uh, I want it to be just big enough. Uh, for it to uh, for it to be big enough for the the birds and I actually I uh, got some uh, that are already caged up uh, over here so let's go and uh, grab one of them uh, let's just go and do I think this is the the smallest one I think uh, so let's go and try and place this one on this branch here and I'm hoping uh, that this tree is going to, to continue to to grow so can I place this down here no it's not letting me place it I might need to make this branch a little bit bigger uh, so I know it looks a bit strange and oh yeah that was a very big bird cage <laughs> yeah it might look a bit strange right now uh, but hopefully once the uh, the tree grows and uh, we can have more on it uh, I think it's going to to look better so uh, I might as well uh, just for now uh, do another one coming off the uh, the other side and uh, then put a different bird in uh, in that one. So I'm going to go and put up a, a few of these uh, these clouds above me uh, to hopefully take out the uh, the googlies uh, so I don't need uh, to worry about them while I'm building. And uh, let's do this branch just slightly lower down. I don't have uh, many options for where I'm going to build these branches seeing as the uh, the tree is so small right now. And uh, let's go and uh, grab uh, one of the uh, the other birds then, shall we? Uh, choose my uh, cut list to quickly take out the, uh, the harpy. Uh, you can see them all collecting underneath me again. And uh, I got the, uh, the blue jay here as well. So let's go... And uh, put the uh, the blue jay uh, up on the uh, the tree here. And uh, I've still got my igloo here, but I still do not have any penguins. I haven't had a uh, much of a chance to look at them since the the last episode. But I'm still holding out hope. I'm still holding out hope that I am eventually uh, going to get my penguin. And there's also a bunch of other animals I could look for. There's a a bunch of bugs and things I could find under the the ground, like things like snails. I could also find a mouse uh, and also a scorpion uh, is a, a possible thing I could find. So tell you what, since I don't have much time left, uh, I haven't got much time to build much more up here in this episode it's starting to look quite cool though i'm starting to, to like the uh, the look of this place uh, so actually i might get rid of this um uh, this acorn here as well because i think it's too close to the the other tree considering how big the branches are going to be so let's just have the uh, the two trees and hopefully uh, this one is going to to start growing soon let's put a torch close and uh, hopefully that's going to help uh, but yeah see as, as i don't have much time to build things what i might do instead is head to the uh, the desert I'm going to have a quick look down in the snow, uh, snow biome again, just in case I have got lucky and found a penguin. And no, I don't think there's anything in here, is there? Nope. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is have a quick jaunt to the, the desert and I uh, hope I find a scorpion. Because uh, I don't think I've seen a scorpion before. Well, I might have seen one a really long time ago, uh, but not have really been looking for them then. Uh, so I don't know if, uh, if I ever really bothered uh, thinking about catching one. So uh, let's have a quick look at the, the desert uh, just to see if we can find a scorpion. And if not, uh, no worries. Hopefully we'll find one uh, another time. So uh, let's go and uh, head this way. So uh, they had the... Um the unexpected uh, visitors of the uh, the pirates, is, which is, um, uh, yeah, really slow down progress today. But uh, I, I don't mind. It was uh, quite good fun battling them. And I did okay. I did much better battling them. That is proving uh, that I am slowly uh, but surely getting stronger. And uh, don't worry uh, if you uh, do uh, want me to, to get a move on uh, trying to get the, uh, the better items and defeating the, uh, the bosses. I will be doing that as well. 
Uh, I will definitely uh, be continuing uh, once we've uh, uh, built my little animal island, uh, carrying on doing those things. And what I might do, actually, is I might put the uh, uh, the shine helmet on. It's getting a little bit dark right now, and I can't see what I'm doing. So let's go and uh, put that back on. I'm still wearing my um, <laughs> my pirate's hat. It looks more like a turban than a hat, doesn't it? Uh, but yeah, I'm still wearing uh, uh, still wearing that just to, uh, just to, to be in the piratey mood, seeing as uh, uh, that was basically the, the theme of the, the day. And uh, my desert uh, is over in, uh, in this direction, so I'm just going to have a one quick look through the, the desert. If I'm very lucky, uh, we get a scorpion, uh, and if I'm not, then uh, we won't worry about it, and I uh, hope I'll get one in the, the future. I think they're a little bit rarer. Some of the, the critters uh, seem to be much rarer than other ones, and there are uh, some biome-specific ones. For example, there's uh, something called a lightning bug, uh, which uh, you only find uh, in the, the hollow. I think it needs to be underground in the, uh, the hollow as well, so... Um, yeah, I might go and uh, uh, keep an eye out for that. Tell you what, maybe in the next episode, what I could do is maybe go underground and uh, try and find some of the uh, the critters you find under underground could be a good idea. Uh, but for now, uh, let's go and uh, have a look around here and uh, see if we can find any scorpions. I got my net out ready. Um, I don't know if I need to destroy leaves or anything or if they should just show up here. Um, I'm not sure. You can see how much of the uh, the sand I've, uh, I've had to destroy uh, in order to uh, to try and make all of the, uh, the glass for everything. Um, let's have a little look down here. The desert continues on a little bit. Uh, any scorpions around here? I'm kind of grabbing up all of the, the water leaves. Seems a bit weird to find water leaves in the, the desert. And oh, there is a fish down here. Um, I could go and try and grab the uh, the fish. Uh, I got a goldfish. <laughs> I can go and put that in a, in a goldfish bowl. I can't put it in a, a proper aquarium, which is a, a shame. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any scorpions. I have no idea. Uh, how big they're going to be though so I can kind of just wander around uh, swinging the th uh, my uh, my bug net and uh, hope that I find any any scorpions down here. The desert is actually way bigger than I than I remembered it being, which is I guess quite good uh, for for scorpion hunting. I, I guess it means uh, there's more chance I'm going to to find one. Oh, did I see something down then? Oh, I think it was just some of the um the fiery sparks that happen uh, whenever I swing anything. But sadly, I don't seem uh, to be able to have uh, got lucky and uh, got any uh, any scorpions. So uh, that's a bit of a shame. I can go and gather up some uh, some cactus though because that's always uh, a nice thing to have. I don't know, maybe they jump out when you destroy a cactus could be something that possibly happens, but nope. Uh, it doesn't seem to be uh, happening. So sadly, uh, no scorpions, uh, but I was able to defeat all of the, the evil pirates. And uh, yeah, and I got a, a little bit of work done uh, putting the uh, the bird cages on the uh, the trees as well. But we have, uh, sadly, uh, just about run out of time in this episode here. So I'll be leaving a, a link in the, uh, the description uh, to the, the next episode, which would, uh, should be online very soon. Uh, but for now, from me, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye!